what are the vocal cords made of? Vocal cords are made up of three layers. Um, at the base is a large muscle called the thyroid muscle, which is what allows it to open and close. There are a large number of muscles that help with the closure, but that's a primary one. Uh, above it, there's a soft gelatinous or jelly-like layer called mm -hmm. the superficial lamina propria. That gives the vocal cords their softness. And the final layer is an epithelium. It's like this type of uh, tissue that we have as our skin. Mm -hmm. That's what creates the knowledge, as we talked about earlier. And that protects the vocal cord, and that's what actually creates the risk for cancer later when you have, when you have smoking. Uh, and mm. so be, between those layers, that's what allows you to create the sound that we enjoy. And we also have an illustration of the vocal cords. Can you talk to us about what surrounds the vocal cords? Absolutely. So it, the, the vocal cords fall right behind the tongue, and there's this large flap called the epiglottis. It's really mm -hmm. important for children and in adults because what it does is it protects the vocal cords and the windpipe when you're eating or drinking. So food goes around it and goes into your esophagus and down to your stomach. Behind that, there are two layers of vocal cords. Uh, one's called the false vocal cords, which are above the true vocal cords. Mm -hmm. Those are a layer of muscle. And then you have the, the white part, which are those lines there in the middle, which are the true vocal cords. That's what I was describing, that three-layer right. structure. And that's what actually vibrates. And this picture oh. is great because on the left side, it shows what the vocal cords look like when you're breathing. You can see that they're open. And right. so the air can pass through. So when you're taking a normal breath, you're running, air is passing through. When you're smoking, smoke is passing through mm. there. And on the right side, the vocal cords are closed, and that allows them to vibrate as the column of air moves up uh, from, the, from the lungs. Now, of this grab of these parts, which one is the most vulnerable to injury? Absolutely. It would be the, that white structure in the middle of the true okay. vocal cord that would be at greatest risk. That's the one that creates the sound. Uh, that's the one that's at greatest risk of developing issues, whether it's a polyp, a mm -hmm. nodule, inflammation related to reflux or allergies or cancer. Now, if damages occur, how do you fix them and how does it affect our voice? Uh, well, it depends on what the problem is. Um, we can have problems from a, from a movement perspective. You can have what's called a vocal cord paralysis. Mm -hmm. where the vocal cord doesn't open and close, and that has to be repositioned to get closure. Uh, sometimes we have to deal with just inflammation, and that would be the allergies and the reflux we briefly mentioned earlier. That's treated with allergy medicine, reflux medicines, or changes in behavior, and sometimes surgery for reflux. And then last but not least, you have the benign diseases, the nodules, the polyps, things that affect the most number of people, uh, and that can be treated either through voice therapy or surgery, and last, you have the cancers, which are primarily a surgical or radiation problem.